Sunday by um, Duke Covington, the tune that really inspired me when I was a young chap and I popped off to the sacred concerts of the Ellington Orchestra. I couldn't believe that I was actually there watching the band. Uh, they smelt of Brill Cream. <laughs> I don't know if that's relevant. Should we kick off with some music? Let's. Well about as different as it gets, really. We introduce a new artist, a very welcome artist. His name is uh, Govind Karbanda. Wonderful chap. Colleague of mine from Trinity College London and a splendid piano player, splendid gentleman. Doing uh, music, I think, hugely underrated composer called Cyril Scott. Uh, this is Water Wagtail, but goodness me, such fun. There's something very... British in the middle of this, with an eclecticism that really sings to me. I hope it does to you. Water Wagtail. <laughs> Thank you. 
The Trombone Concerto by Rimsky Korsakov is really very standard fare, you know, in the trombone repertoire. Any trombonist worth her or his salt performs this at some time or another. Uh, the slow movement is particularly redolent of near operatic lines. The only rare thing about this particular recording, apart from its great um, intelligence and beauty, is the fact that the performer is somebody we've met before, met as a composer, and uh, his name is Apollo Premadasa, and uh, this lovely young chap is playing the piece now for you. He is six years old, soon to be seven, trombone concerto in B-flat major, movement number two by Nikolai Avimsky korsakov Thank you. Duo Cadanza, Catanza, Scott Plato and Matthias Young return now to offer the second movement of the Concerto in D Major by um, Vivaldi, beautifully adapted for two guitars in the way that they do. Um, this uh, movement really does reveal the wonderful um, sort of elegiac ritonello of Vivaldi beautiful returning themes but they do so in such a way as to be almost singable. How Vivaldian is that? Let's take a trip to Venice via the United States of course where these wonderful players are. Thank you very much chaps for this movement. We look forward to 
movement number three next time, I think. Shall we enjoy it? Some Vivaldi, please. <laughs> Thank you. 
when introducing Derek Rogers uh, and his wonderful uh, uh, performances, I am more often left silent in favour of his introductions. This is no exception. His Brahms will be introduced by Mr Rogers. Today I am going to perform the second of the Brahms four ballades of this tenth. This ballad is in ternary form. It begins and ends with a lyrical expressive melody and in between this there is a more lively middle section which in itself is in ternary form. One of the fascinating aspects of this ballad is Brahms' use of keys and the way he shifts between the opening key of D major, the relative minor of that key, which is B minor, and B major. The opening theme is in D major. The opening of the middle section is in B minor, changes to B major, and then back to B minor. And then it ends initially with the opening theme in B major, but then eventually ends in D major, the opening key. But within this, there, is, there are constant shifts between the major and the minor. One example is in the first section, where there is a two bar phrase, which is in B minor. It's repeated in B major and then immediately back to B minor. And you can hear these shifts between major and minor throughout the ballad. The whole ballad ends with a very beautiful return of the opening theme, but this time in a lower register. So here is the Brahms second ballad of this tenth.
We conclude now with grateful thanks for you being here in our company and look forward to a return in the flesh to our lovely concert uh, venue, the Cranbourne Theatre in Chelsea, sooner rather than later. I do hope you're all keeping fighting fit and deliciously musical. Uh, a return now for our final item uh, of that artist known as John Mann. His adaptions, creativity, and entertainment value, as much as as much as every other creative element, are not to be missed. So don't miss this, will you? I'm just going to tell you what it's called, rather than explain anything further. Thanks for being here, everybody. Quarantine, Billy Jean. <laughs> I'm here at home stuck in quarantine from COVID-19 Can't go outside but what do you mean I am the one Who will walk in the park in the sun Mojo says I'm the one Who should stop going out to the park Just leave me be, I'm out for a stroll For some toilet rolls Don't cause a scene, it's my first